Okay, so you have to find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of this function at, um, well, it's not a function, actually, to the graph of, to this graph at 6, 1. This is actually a parabola that opens right. So it's not a function. It fails the vertical line test. Anyways, let's find the tangent line at 6, 1. So we already have a point, so we just need the slope. So the first thing to do is find the slope. To do that, you just take the derivative. So we're going to differentiate both sides of our equation right here. All right, so here we have to use the chain rule. So we bring the 2 downstairs. So we get 2 times y minus 3 to the first power times the derivative of the inside, which is just dy dx. This is equal to, now here, um, you can multiply this out if you like. I, I will. This is 4x minus 20. So when you take the derivative here, you, you, you just get 4. All right, at this point, we can solve for dy dx, or we can plug the numbers in. Uh, let's just plug them in. So when x equals 6 and y equals 1, we have 2 times 1 minus 3 is equal to dy dx. Now, I'm being a little sloppy here. I should really write dy dx at 6 comma 1. So, okay, I guess I'm not being sloppy. And this is equal to 4. All right, so here we get 2 times negative 2. So this is negative 4 dy dx at the point 6 comma 1. All right, let's be pros about this. Let's do it 100% correct. And to finish, you divide by negative 4. So you end up with dy dx at the point 6 comma 1 is equal to negative 1. So that's our slope. That's our m. This is going to be the slope of our tangent line. So to finish, we use the point slope formula. So the formula is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And in our case, uh, m is negative 1. And our point was 6, 1. So this is your x1. This is your y1. Then you just plug everything in. So y minus 1 equals negative 1 times x minus 6. Uh, so y minus 1, distributing the negative 1, you get negative x plus 6. Uh, add the 1, so you get y equals negative x plus uh, 7, right? Because if you add 1, uh, 6 plus 1 is 7. Yeah, it looks all right. And that's it. That's how you find the equation of a tangent line using implicit differentiation.